Greetings, Jalen here. I am here for a Q&A session, apparently. Uh, that's what my good friend and associate tells me. Uh, James, who's just out of frame. Thank you, my man. Um, I'll take a tea. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, some honey and uh, a good portion of milk. Um, right. So, a few of you have sent in some questions, which is odd, because I... Um, not a lot of people know who I am, but I guess that's the point of this, isn't it? Right, so, let's begin, shall we? Alright, so, and first of all, you'll have to excuse me if I got to use my glasses. Once you get old, you know, you can't see things, it's just how it works. Uh, so, first question is from Ray. Who would I consider my fashion rival? Well, Ray, that's easy. Joe F, if you know who I mean. I know he's out there watching. That man, when we were in fashion college, used to outdo me all the time. And I had a real problem with it. He always said it was affordable fashion. That was his goal in the future, to affordable fashion. Well, funny enough, <laughs> he sells his things in grocery stores primarily. Well, how, how odd is that? Sorry, I was about to swear. How odd is that? That is odd. So you see, Jaylee and I sell things independently, which is a lot better, I think. And I also have a few outlets in Italy. So, Joe F, I still don't like you. I don't. All right, second question. It's from Ray again? Yes, it is. It's from Ray. Well, she's very industrious, isn't she, asking so many questions. Well, what's in season? What's out? Well, Ray, again. I would say zippers are in. And what do I mean by that? Well, I've been working on this zipper dress. Yes, look at this. I call this the Jalian Express zipper. Look at that. It serves no purpose. It doesn't zip anywhere. It can cut you. That's the thing. It's kind of dangerous. But, um, uh, but look at that. That's sort of like a florally design with the zipper there. I thought I was influenced by a bouquet of flowers, fake flowers, not real ones. Um, you know, they make a mess, real ones. Uh, anyways, um, yes, this is in. This is what I would say is in. To answer her second part of her question, what's out? Well, I would say anything by my faux Joe F. Anything that's got friggin' orange on it, I'll just get rid of that. Never wear orange. What are you, an orange? Don't wear orange, come on. Or are you 80 years old? I would also say Crocs are still out. Those are never in. Sorry, if you like trancing about and outside with them. Perhaps just going over to the garbage to put in something in your bin or recycling, whatever. That's fine. I use pink sandals myself to do that sort of thing, but you don't really care about that, do you? Right, thank you, Ray, for the questions. I very much appreciate them. Thanks, James. Thank you very much, my good man. I've recently been informed, before I answer the next question, that uh, there's a fellow that used to be here that is coming back. Uh, apparently, he's some sort of freak. I don't know what that means. I was very anxious about that, actually, because I told James I don't want any sort of funny business going on around here while I'm hard at work at fashion, my fashionable items. So, we'll see who that is. Right, the next question, it comes from Jason. Now, Jason, I hope you're not Jason Martell. I sent you a few questions a couple of years ago. You told me that I, you would answer them, but you never did. You absolutely didn't. You gave me all the confidence. It was about extraterrestrials and things like that. <clears throat> Anyways, I hope that's not you. So... Unknown Jason. Are your latest trends for sale? Well, yes, they are. As if you haven't been watching, my previous videos are detailed how they're for sale from me independently. If you see something here you like, Jason, try it on. Uh, but other than that, you have to go to Italy. Yes. Uh, there's a store called Vergazzi in Italy, in Milan in particular. That sells my items. Use the discount code JK5. Gives you a generous 5% discount. Thanks for your question, Jason. Moving on, the next question comes to us from Brian. Hello, Brian. 
Will I need to wear a raincoat next week? Well, how am I to know, Brian? How do I know your geographical location? You never mentioned it in the question. Um, I would wear a raincoat anyways, uh, regardless of rain or not. Uh, Piccolo Excess Cargo is a new item just listed on today's fashion list of 2019, summer edition. Um, but I prefer to feel the rain myself. Perhaps you should take note of that and try it yourself. Right, we're on to the last question. I just want to say thank you again for the tea to James, who's just out of frame there. He's my producer and also my social media manager because I hate this. However, I like serving uh, the, the questions and giving appropriate answers. I like that. Make sure to check out my stuff on Etsy at some point in the future. Okay, so this comes from Stephen or Ra. How much wood can a woodchuck really chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I love your play on words, Stephen. You're a clever man. I have an answer for you, though. It's a little scientific. A woodchuck, or a soil chuck, can actually chuck about 700 pounds of soil or wood. There it is. There's the answer for you. I can't believe I'm a fashion icon answering friggin' wild animal questions. What, what sort of question is this? Didn't you screen it? Anyways, thank you very much for your question, Stephen. However, tongue in cheeky you were, you're a cheeky man. I want to say thank you very much on behalf of James, who's uh, set this up for me. I don't feel very popular because there's only, what, five questions, two by one person. When you equate his Facebook account with how many people he knows, and the, uh, the, that's not very good. What the hell are people doing on there? Are they wasting time? What are they doing? Why don't they do something creative like make women's clothing, for Christ's sakes? Gosh. Right, until next time. This has been Jalian. My fashionistas and fashionistos, take care. And that contest to Milan, the answer will be coming up soon. Stay tuned.